be hitting Tulsa by first morning light. I'm a prisoner of the highway, driven on by my restless soul. Call me a prisoner of the highway, imprisoned by the freedom of the road. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're back on the 68 Dart today. The original, the OG, the Crew Cab Dart. Ever since getting the Valiant put together, this thing has been sad. It's given me, been giving me trouble. I haven't been able to get in it and drive it like I always have been able to because the Teleshaft seal slash bushing, it has gone out. It's puke and transmission fluid out the Teleshaft, so... I might have to take care of it. And I ain't gonna lie to you. It's kind of crazy. It may just be a coincidence. I don't know. But the whole time I was working on the Valiant, it was fine. I was driving it all the time. Valiant get finished. All of a sudden, it's puking transmission fluid. It's honestly so bad, I've, I'm afraid to drive it because I'm afraid to catch the car on fire. It's, it's pretty crazy. I'll, I'll show you here once we get it in there on the lift. But as you can see, we've, we've had some icy weather and I haven't been able to get up here to it. So the battery has been down. Been letting old Danger Ranger here charge it up. Maybe it charged up enough to fire off. So let's get a good cold start on this thing. Get it moved inside the shop where the heater is. We can get to start working on it. Let's just uh, see what it'll do. Maybe give her. Let's give her a couple. Start, please. Okay, well, looks like the Ranger's gonna have to be cut on. All right, let's give her hell. I think it'll start pretty easy. God, why does it sound like starter's about to fall off? That's kind of rough. What are the odds that I don't have enough power for the ignition system? I just put gas in it last night. I know it's not out of gas. I'm about to call this video a revival. <clears throat> are you out of gas? No, are you flooded? Potentially. Potentially. What is that? What are you? Are you leaking? Hello? Oh, yeah. Pouring fuel. Well, that's what you want to see, really. That's what you want to see. Boom. Jerry! You got a jump pack. You got a jump pack, yeah? yeah? Can I? I was waiting for you to say something when I came out here. Can I borrow that, buddy? Yes, you can, buddy. Oh, there it is. I need one of those. Also not good because it was slipping like hell when I parked it.
Well, we got the old dart pulled in. And I ain't gonna lie to you, it was making some not good noises out of what appears to be the transmission area of things. And I'm not very hopeful. So last time I was driving this car, I was going down the road and it was, it was like it was losing gear. Uh, I could be driving, say RPM was at 2,500. Well, it would flash up to like 3,000. And it would catch itself. So I was really thinking it was low transmission fluid because I could gas on it. And in my mind, I gassed on it, increased the line pressure. It would grab that, it would, it would grab that gear again, but it's full of fluid and it was doing those things. Doing things. So it was doing broke transmission things, not ideal. So I guess we're going to get it up in the air and pull the transmission pan off of it before I ever go and put the tail shaft stuff on just to see if we have lots of debris in there. And we'll, we'll keep you updated on that. I'm really hoping that I don't have to, you know, put another one in it or rebuild this one because I want to do something different with the transmission in this car, but I just don't want to do it right now. I would just like for it to be a driver. Uh, we'll see. So we got the old dart on the transmission. Ah, okay. <laughs> So we got the dart on the left here, and I wasn't exaggerating about how bad this leak is. It's covering the exhaust. Look at it, dripping off the muffler back here. It is terrible. And this car was just undercoated, or repainted, re-undercoated. Oh, it's awful. Oh. oh, okay. Might have a little contact there. Yeah, it's awful. Uh, however, all me and Jerry got to looking and the leak's not there. It's up there. That's the uh, access access port for the... Yeah, there's a, there's a snap ring in there to, that holds the tail shaft on, a, a really, really big snap ring. And that's the little hold down that you gotta take off to get the snap ring off. And it's loose. Very much so. And it's pretty apparent that that is where the leak is. Oh, that sucks. But the way the transmission was acting and the noises it was making, I need to pull this transmission pan off and figure something out because it, it didn't sound good and it definitely sounded transmission related. So got to pull that transmission pan off and, and go from there, I guess. Messy jobs. Call for gloves. I'm not going to use Jesse's impact to get these bolts out because I feel like it's going to, it's probably going to soak it in transmotion fluid and I can't do that to him. Gosh, I hate that we just found that. I mean, I, I don't hate it, and I do hate it. I hate that it's so simple. Or I love that it's so simple. I hate that I waited this long. Could have saved this transmission. But, honestly, this transmission doesn't owe me a thing. Because this is the transmission that come with the 318 when we bought it for $450 and like $2,000 and... Uh, I think it was 2000 and maybe 17. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. It's it's been in the car ever since then and all I've ever done is I put a torque converter in it and I put a filter in it once. And it's taking me to Illinois multiple times. It did power tour. So it's it's done me well. That's not ideal. Mm. 
So we've got the pan off now. And I'm... Um, oh, I see some debris in there, but not just a ton of debris. Go check the pan over here. There is some debris in here, but all transmissions are gonna have some. What is that though? Ooh, yeah. So that kind of looks like a Teflon thrush washer. Ooh. A lot of clutch material in here. A lot of clutch material. And metal. Ah. Well, the metal looks fairly normal. It's little speckles, you're gonna see that. I do see some chunks every now and then. I think that's what that is, is a chunk. That's definitely Teflon. It's, uh, it's not ideal either way it goes. I'm gonna have to do something about that, I'm afraid. So the transmission shot, I called a buddy that potentially has one. So we're gonna go over there, take the old Rapscallion Festiva here. And uh, we're gonna go check the transmission out and see if potentially we have a good 727 core to start with. If not, it's a 904 and then I'm back to square one. So we'll pick back up in a minute. All right, we've made it to our potential spare transmission here. Um, I just got to get a peek at the transmission pan. Well, well, well. Ooh. I'm 727. I think with that ear right there, it means it's a 727. Interesting. Interesting. Let me hold on. All right, that is in fact a 727. So that is a good to rebuild if we ever need it but we're thinking we may have found another option so let's get back to the shop shit, shit, shit. you fall <laughs> you gonna make it to the car buddy I about split. <laughs> come on you got it hop in there you go there you go that's pretty slick around here all right back to the shop we made it back to the shop. So I, I think right now we're kind of at a standstill on this car. I'm really thinking it's gonna be the power tour car this year. And I was, we were joking about the Festiva. Still not out of the question, but I really think this is gonna be the power tour car. I say overdrive, we get some QA1 shocks on the rear to match the front up here. Go do some, uh, do some auto crossing in it. Have a good time. So, I guess that's all I got for now. Just a whole bunch of disappointment. I'm gonna put the pan back on, drive the car out. All right, well, we found Jerry. Oh my God, it's horrible. Like, look at that. That straight up looks like a fingernail. Like, look at that. Oh, oh my God, yeah, that is so horrible, man. That's what, I, I strained the fluid. I, I don't care to put new fluid back in it, so I just strained this fluid. And put back in it since it's gonna get something else man, anyway. And look at that. oh man, of, just chunks of stuff. That's that's pretty. That's a that is horrible, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. All I'm right. gonna get a splinter from this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that transmission is cooked. I guess that's all we have for this. We're gonna go ahead and crank it up, back it out. I put all the fluid back in it. I'm not putting any more in it. You're gonna take what you get. You're gonna like it. I'm gonna take it back outside. Park it up. Watch it do not even move. It may not move. <laughs> it may not move. So let's, let's get it back outside, park it back on the hill, and let the research start. I'm gonna rebuild a carburetor too, I think. Needs better. You know what it needs for power to it? What? These 850 double pumpers what it needs.
my surprise, it made it outside. I didn't hear any transmission pump noises. Surprise, yet, yet. It, it's probably coming. We took a lot of metal out of the equation when we drained that fluid and filtered it going back in, so. Yeah, yeah, it still hurt. It's hurt. Yeah, and she's hurt a little bit. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a quick and easy tail shaft fix, but. Well, I guess that's all we're gonna do to this thing today. We just diagnosed it, found out it's gonna cost money. Now we parked it. Back to square one. So, I guess that's all. All for now. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For Gary. There he is. We'll, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Oh